So now that you clearly have the answer to those two questions about yourself and maybe other people that you know, <laughs> let's let, what are those, what are the, the personality types and what words are used to describe those? So well, I'm going to use the terms two different ways. There, there, there are terms that are used that are like psychology driven. These are the ones that were originally used, you know, 400 years after, after Hippocrates uh, where, um, and, and so they're Greek. And so the words don't really make a whole lot of sense in today's world, but you know, but, um, medical people, psychologists, psychiatrists, they will still tend to use those because that's the medical term. I'm also going to give you like a common today type of word as well. So let's start with the the first temperament, which is what we call the amiable. It's what psychologists call the phlegmatic. Phlegmatic. Uh, so amiable, phlegmatic. These are folks who are indirect and people oriented, meaning that they're a little bit more reserved. They're less of a risk taker on that scale, but they're also very people oriented. They like people. They, um, they, they build relationships really well. So basically this, this, the amiable personality type is, is a fairly easygoing person. They tend to get along well with others and they often, they're often the peacemakers within organizations. They're very friendly, but they're not particularly outgoing. Their real strengths are that they, they are extremely likable, they're trustworthy, they build great relationships with other people. And their biggest weaknesses though, are that they, they tend to be more shy and introverted than some of the other temperaments. So the amiable type makes, they, they make fantastic speakers, by the way, because they're so likable. The audiences really, really love them. However, they often don't like to be the center of attention. And as a result, they're gonna be extremely self-conscious. As a result, they're gonna have more public speaking fear than probably any of the other temperaments, at least naturally. So anyway, that's the, the amiable or phlegmatic 